Hey, what up, everybody? So, coming to you this morning, giving you the weekend recap from Saturday, August 10th. There's only one fight to talk about. It was one card that was on on the zone. Um, Virgil Ortiz, there's only one fight to talk about because the rest of the card really, there was no, really nobody of note to uh, discuss. Um, I guess the undercard fight between, um, shit, I can't even remember the other dude's name, but uh, they fight. They ended up fighting to a draw. That Bantamweight fight, it was their third fight. They fought to a draw. I guess it was a good one. Um, you know, I kind of caught the end of it. So, uh, yeah, that, that was the third rubber match between those two Bantamweight fighters. Um, the main event, though, was Virgil Ortiz against Antonio Orozco. Uh, I guess the fight ended up taking place at 147. I thought Ortiz was going to be competing more at 140, but both of his fights this year actually took place at 147. So, um, yeah, Ortiz, you know, I don't, it was a nice win. He got a sixth round uh, knockout win over Orozco. Uh, Orozco fought him tough, though. It was, it was his, definitely Ortiz's toughest test. It wasn't an easy one. Um, you know, Orozco was really pushing him. It was a good fight back, to, you know, a lot of back and forth, but, uh, you know, Ortiz was kind of dictating the pace for the most part. And he just uh, broke down Orozco and landed some good um, good body shots and stuff like that. Uh, you know, so good solid performance out of him is, is a good way to keep stepping up and um, stepping towards something bigger. Um, I'll talk about his what's next uh, this Sunday. We'll, we'll discuss that. But, yeah, overall, just a good solid performance and, um, you know, uh, against a good solid fighter in Orozco. I really think Orozco needs to consider uh, – making the weight and moving down to 147 I mean moving out of 140 I don't think 147's cut out for him uh you know he he performed uh, against Jose Ramirez pretty solid last year in that title fight so I think it's something he needs to consider and maybe discipline himself better because I know he's had weight issues and it was a tough loss for him but um you know he fought hard nothing to hang his head about but Virgil Ortiz he's a real deal undefeated and he got the victory sixth round TKO so that's it guy for the week weekend recap I uh, hope you enjoyed this. True boxing. Been here with the truth.